As dusk falls on the central business district of Zimbabwe's capital Harare, homebound workers hit the city's night markets. The crowds of street traders who sell basic food, clothes and electronics here have expanded as the southern African country faces an economic crisis. Rampant inflation and unemployment have pushed people to try to earn extra cash and hunt for bargains to make their money go further. Formal stores are struggling to keep up with rising costs and rental prices. Informal traders often undercut their prices and eat into their market share. Street trading is illegal in Zimbabwe, but traders here hope by setting up under the cover of darkness they can avoid being spotted by police. 27-year-old father of two, Byron Munangati, is one of them. People come here because our merchandise is a bit cheaper. I expect better sales during Christmas holidays. At least people have a tendency to spend on groceries and other things. Although Zimbabwe is a long way off the 500 billion percent hyperinflation reported by the International Monetary Fund in December 2008, the country still has the highest inflation in the world, measured at 255 percent in November. Some traders also sell their wares in pop-up markets during the day, but these are often raided and dispersed by police. For college students Obert Chinganyama, street vendors offer bargains he cannot get in stores. I come to the streets because I can negotiate the price. These sneaker dealers are always willing to reduce the price, so that keeps me glued here. The dire state of the economy is blamed on years of government mismanagement and corruption, made worse this year by the global food and energy shortages caused by the Ukraine crisis.